hello and welcome back so let's continue and see how we can implement an add notification for example so let me let me copy this here from functions.php and let's go to our folder inside ajax because we want to deal with the like button first. So let me open a like.ajax.php. And then let's go at the very end where we are making sure that we have liked the post. So it's like post or follow user right there. So after all this, uh, add notification and let's paste that there great so now here the user id is definitely this one here so let's copy that and put it there and then of course uh, the activity is determined by what does the activity actually so it's a like comment or follow right So like comment oh, so like for user oh actually it could be a like oh yeah this whole file is dealing with likes so definitely here we're just going to put like like so so that's the activity and then here the row is supposed to be the contents of this item that we are liking so this could be a profile or it could be a post so depending on which one of these it is we may use the user class get single user or post class get single post so let's go back to classes just to make sure that these actually exist so post class we are looking for get, get posts, get comment, get one post. Okay, so that's what it is. That's the one I'm looking for, get one post. So we're instantiating the new post right there. Okay, so in here, I want to get a single post here I think I can go get get away with it here so I'm going to do this I'll say single post is equal to so single post is equal to get one post and post ID so we will use the post here post class instantiated there so post get one post post id so of course the post id is this one here there we go but it could be that uh, this is actually a profile so if it gets to this part let me remove the word wrap here so if it gets to this we're going to have to change single post to something else so down here let's put that there but let me open the user class so that i get the function correctly it's get user right Boop. so where is it get user i can just change it there with the same id wait 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 okay now instead of using the post class we'll use the user class here so copy and paste and then we'll get single post put it here and that's it so let's give it a spin so in the table we have nothing in uh, notifications there we go so let's give it a try refresh 
and let me like this comment so i have liked this comment oh unfortunately this is uh, not using the ajax so let's go and try something that is so timeline and like okay so that's clearly means we have an error somewhere so let me go to the console okay there we go now we have to open our profile.php so we can see that error actually no it's post.php let's go down to the javascript in the response alert or you can use console.log alert result okay refresh let's do that again all right so a few errors here exciting stuff trying to get property user id of none object this is in functions.php online 96 okay 96 hmm so this row is not an object okay what i will do is go back to where is this like dot ajax so i want to see what's inside here so i'm just going to say print readable or what i would say is var dump so that i can know even the type just in case it's empty go back and try again okay so there we go so it's actually an array and not an object so how is this possible id string post id okay so the result here is an array so we could okay an easy solution is to go to where is this the functions and right before we use it let's just convert it to an object since we've already used objects we were assuming it's an object so I'll say raw is equal to object raw mm -hmm. so then come back here and remove this let's give it a spin boom okay so here another error call to undefined method database right where is this in functions db right okay let's go to classes in database it's actually connect so let's see read oh it's actually save my bad so let me copy the right and put save okay great let's try again okay so now we have uh, some good result here nice so I can go back to my uh, post.php remove the alert refresh so we should have a record in here now and there we go so as you can see there's a notification here from this user 
who liked this content and that content is a post and this is the owner of that post and this happened at this particular time okay so great in the next video we'll see how we're going to turn this into a readable notification